Hey, hello everybody. Welcome back for another video. Hope you're all doing well and that you're all having a great day. As always, a free way to support the channel is by leaving a like, by leaving a comment, or by subscribing if you have not already done so. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. It says... Crypto investment firm Pantera Capital thinks the panic in the crypto markets following the market-wide collapse in May is waning off. Dan Moorhead, chief executive of the firm, says the market saw a downtick, eh, understatement, primarily due to a combination of three events, news about China's reported crackdown on digital assets, Elon Musk on Bitcoin, and tax day within the United States. The tax day downtick. Has happened in previous cycles, the CEO explained in a new blog post. He said, previous tax day cycles have hit local lows seven days before tax day. That makes tremendous sense. That's about how long it takes to get your money out of an exchange and to your bank. The Bitcoin market hit a local low near $30,000 two days after tax day. The U.S. government pushed tax day to May of this year, I assume because of 19. Only nine days off the historical average. And within the period, that makes intuitive sense. So there's a lot. And this is, I, I guess, Dan, Dan Moorhead is usually one of the... Uh, is this Dan? Yeah, Dan Moorhead. Uh, is, is usually one of the guys uh, who usually gets quoted within the cryptocurrency space. The entire idea being uh, we're now seeing a, a very strong mimic that the sold off that we saw before uh, is apparently allegedly over. And now we are beginning to see the upside of the cryptocurrency market as we... Move forward from the ridiculous events uh, that took place sometime last month. It says Bitcoin fluctuates around 39,000 US dollars. Ethereum and altcoins recover losses. This one says Bitcoin to reclaim $50,000. This was said by a legendary, okay, technical analyst, John Bollinger. Bollinger? Bollinger. Many different ways to pronounce that. Litecoin price analysis. Bulls continue to struggle near $180. And it says Bitcoin's dips from 40K. Here's why uptrend is still intact in Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin hit 40,000 something or other. We were we were either next to or we hit 41,000 US dollars. Uh, and now most of the market is saying and indicating that it looks like we're going to try and revisit those numbers once again. Very positive news for the cryptocurrency market in general, for the cryptocurrency uh, prices. Yeah, wasn't too much really going on other than there were a lot of about three or four different analysts who kept on saying that it appears that any major sell off that we had before uh, appears to be relatively over. Uh, is this also one? Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Oh, yeah. Also, I guess kind of tying into it as well. It says on Monday, Alex Mashinsky. Co-founder, chair, and CEO of Celsius Network predicted that Bitcoin's price could reach $160,000 by the end of this year. In an interview on the 14th of June, Mashinsky told Michelle McCory of Kitco News, he said, we may reach an all, all the way to $160,000 this year. I'm sticking to that prediction. As for El Salvador's move into Bitcoin, he said, so if we can get a Brazil... If we can get a Nigeria, if we can get countries with large populations to accept this as legal tender, you're going to see a huge explosion in the price because just the adoption of all those users is going to create tremendous new demand. And then he spoke a bit about Elon Musk as well, but that's not the most important thing in the entire world. So the point to be made is that um, everyone's super bullish. Everyone assumes that we are going to have prices rising once again. Uh, I, I think for me, it, it was always kind of a July thing. Uh, I told you all before, Bitcoin is, of course, attached to every single cryptocurrency as a trading pair, uh, as is Ethereum. So if Ethereum does extremely well as we are moving towards the, what do you call it? Uh, the upgrade that's going to happen, deflationary, yada, yada, yada. If Ethereum does very well, altcoins do very well. We go into another altcoin season. Uh, I do not think that Bitcoin or people behind Bitcoin would allow Bitcoin to be outpaced by Ethereum or taken over by Ethereum. And therefore, that would also lead to a tremendous Bitcoin movement as well. So, yeah, that's all the price news. And without further ado, uh, let's move on. This is also being attributed like Bitcoin's price has fallen by like 2.4% or something nonsensical like that. And this is mainly being attributed to this actual event. The US SEC has a history of delaying and declining uh, Bitcoin ETFs. The regulatory hurdles and the indefinite rejections in the past have dented the hopes of a quick SEC approval. Crypto enthusiasts have taken always been frustrated by the SEC's reluctance to sign off on an e ETF. I think I said NFT. 
I feel like I said NFT. Did I say NFT? I feel like I said NFT. It's ETF. And what is the most recent development? The US SEC further delayed passing its judgment on the Van Eck Bitcoin Trust. So at the moment, I think we have it was like 12 or 13. That's not even a fake number. Uh, somewhere around there, the amount of companies who are trying to launch um, Bitcoin, Ethereum, or crypto-based ETFs within the United States. What happens is, is that the US SEC, historically, every single time, uh, there's like a, a an open door period, if you will, where you're, you know, you, you hand your application to them and they can either say yay or nay. It's always been a nay. But at some point when they reach the end of the window, they're allotted another, what is it, 45 days uh, where they can go, well, we're going to re-review it. Um, and they, they never actually do. At least this is my opinion. I'm not in the SEC. I've never sat in the room with a member of the SEC. I'm just going off of the, the last seven years of information because they have no intention of launching or pushing through a Bitcoin ETF. Uh, luckily, the news that we used to get a lot of years, two, three years ago at this point, was that every single time, every single time today, Bitcoin ETF got rejected was that our prices had to move down and it was quite annoying because we would see like a 13% drop in that day. But I, I, I think people have finally gotten to the point where they're like, okay, the SEC is never going to actually push one through and we don't actually need a Bitcoin ETF within the United States to have Bitcoin's price move any higher. So the news is that uh, they're delayed once again. I'm going to assume this is not going to get pushed through at any point in time. This is never going to be a thing. Uh, and the other 12 that we're also waiting for are also not going to be pushed through as well. So kind of don't um don't hold your breath if you will yeah it says bitcoin down four percent as the us sec further delays van eck bitcoin etf proposal they know exactly what they're doing it's really i find it ironic because they talk so much about uh price manipulation within the market but they're the ones manipulating the prices so anyway i think this is also part of it as well yep uh, SEC delays decision and additional. Oh yeah, and the, the the other part is is that they 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 ask for public comment, uh, basically a, a way for them to say, well, we we were asking the people how they felt about this decision and should we actually have one? They don't care. You think that any regulator actually cares what people have to say? You could have a million people marching outside right now saying yes. Bitcoin ETF launch one tomorrow, and they will go. Ah, we didn't hear from anyone in the public though. That's just how it works. Anyway, that's the reason as to why Bitcoin is down by uh, 4% news. I think it's already started moving back up, so it doesn't... All right, let's move on. <laughs> Next up, in news that I slightly missed because um, I was away traveling, I'm pretty sure you noticed. Um, Coinbase Pro announced that it will begin allowing trades of Shiba Inu coin. As early as Thursday, that is today. It is also going to be listing Keep Network and Chili's or Ch Chilis, C H I L I Z Ch Ch Chilis tokens. Coinbase customers can begin transferring these three tokens to the platform, according to the blog post. This has one significant, once a significant supply of Chilis, Keep and Shib is established on the platform. You can trade it against the U.S. dollar, the euro, the Great British pound, Tether. And then the other ones are the same exact coins as well. Order books will launch in three phases, post only, limit only, and full trading. Uh, I saw this news, of course, when it came out, and I had a bit of a chuckle to myself because we've had many times before on this channel where uh, it, it's, it's not that people aren't asking for these coins, but Coinbase has a very strong history of really just kind of throwing curveballs and not people not really expecting. Like, how, no, how many of you actually expected Coinbase to list Shiba Inu. The coin has been around. It, it, it's been around for a couple of months now. Uh, you understand what I'm saying uh, along that line. Uh, and 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 I'll and I'll tell you this as well. Me and uh, two, three of my friends, we have an interesting thing going on where we're actually trying to uh, see if Shiba Inu can actually uh, hit one cent. I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous, but if you look at where Shiba Inu's price is right now. Uh, it's kind of the same exact thing as where Dogecoin was when Dogecoin first came out. Uh, half of the supply of Shiba Inu has been burned. So like there's not one quadrillion coins anymore, which is an insane number. And I think the other 40% of the coin supply has also been given to like another company who also has it in like a burn address. So uh, we were discussing like if you put X amount, I'm, I'm, I'm just telling you to be completely honest. If you put X amount into uh, Shiba Inu and had X amount of coins, if it hit one cent, 
how much money could you make? So it's kind of like a, it's not a bet going on between us, but we're like, we were just sitting there like, you know, crazier things have happened. Uh, it's also now the 17th largest coin. So this, this is, it's been a weird last two years. And I think at this point, anything can really take place. Anyway, that's the uh, Coinbase is adding Shiba Inu. What's it called? Foot? Wait, keep. Not, <laughs> that was foot coin. Uh, keep coin and, and, and chilies. And I think this is also it right here. Yeah, the coin surged quite dramatically in price. And then uh, Bitcoin started falling down in price. So it took the, the rest of the market with it. But that's just, that's just Bitcoin. And let's move on. This discussion is, is still happening. And I wonder if it's actually going to lead somewhere. And I mean that in the most honest way. Um, according to Input Output Hong Kong CEO Charles Hoskinson, Tesla should ditch Bitcoin en masse and instead turn to Cardano. During a podcast by MIT researcher Lex Friedman, is that Friedman? Hoskinson explained why he believes Cardano is far superior to Bitcoin. Massive carbon footprint concerns regarding the energy-hungry proof-of-work consensus algorithm and Bitcoin relies on haven't been going on for years. Debates revolving around this happened with Musk in May. Musk revealed, yada, yada, yada. And if in a five, five hour long interview, I didn't even know that was possible to do that. I'd be exhausted. Uh, with Friedman on the 16th of June, Hoskinson argued that Cardano should be the first choice for Tesla if they truly cared about sustainability and carbon reduction. That is a massive sentence. He said, well, if they truly care about alternative energy, sustainability, carbon reduction, and carbon neutrality, you can't be in a system where there's no built-in mechanism to constrain the energy consumption. Uh, this was news three and a half weeks ago as well. You might remember this. Uh, on the same exact day where Elon Musk noted that he was not no, he was no longer a big fan of Bitcoin, uh, mainly because of its energy consumption, Cardano pumped by around 15 to 20 percent that day. There was, there was no zero news anywhere that Tesla was going to be adopting Cardano, using Cardano, mentioning Cardano. There was nothing of the sort. Uh, but the idea was when you looked around for news that, well, if he's not using Bitcoin, he won't be using Litecoin because of proof of work and Ethereum because of the still now proof of work where he must be looking for another coin. And that's when everyone was like, well, he must be going to a proof of stake coin. And I think that same exact day Dogecoin, no, like the day or two after Dogecoin also started pumping as well. And everybody was like, but that also uses proof of work. So it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Anyway, um, sure. I don't think Elon Musk is going to explicitly announce this out loud. Uh, however, if he does, will any of you be surprised? No, probably not, because it seems like something that he would also do. I mean, nothing surprises me in this space anymore. So uh, at the moment, this has happened over the last couple of days, but this was major news three weeks ago where everyone was speculating if uh, Tesla would start using Cardano instead. I mean, not a bad idea, but, you know, this space doesn't make a lot of sense anymore. So let's move on. In probably the, like, the news of the day, and I'm not really sure why it's news, and I'll tell you why in a second. The World Bank has refused El Salvador's request to help the central bank's central American country's transition to adopt Bitcoin as legal tender. El Salvador recently passed a law authorizing the world's leading cryptocurrency Bitcoin as legal tender within the country. The central American country move into Bitcoin received praise from the crypto community, but it did not impress global regulators. Can you imagine why? El Salvador is the first country in the world to officially recognize Bitcoin as legal tender. The World Bank cited issues with Bitcoin's environmental impact, that's a lie, and transparency as reasons why it will not support El Salvador's move to adopt Bitcoin as an official accept accepted accepted currency um the the now here's my opinion the the environmental impact thing is and i apologize for using these letters but it is uh the letter b and the letter s uh simply because there are so many other things that are you've if you live in a big city or have walked around a big city and you've smelled the air uh yeah it smells like garbage uh so they don't explicitly care about the environmental impact of anything at all 
It's always just about their money and them controlling money. So if they actually cared about the the, the impact of anything, they we, we we'd live in an entirely different planet. However, them them citing that as one reason why they can't support Bitcoin is absolute nonsense. Uh, and transparency reasons uh, basically has to do with the fact that they alone want to print Bitcoin, and they assume that any currency that they did not create or give the thumbs up to is is therefore not a real currency and they want to be able to they they they, they it's not even that they can't have an access to the ledger because that's the entire point of the thing everyone has access to the ledger but they want to know like whose name is explicitly attached to every single transaction that's happening and if they can't do that well then you know bitcoin is not a thing for them they said while the government did approach us for assistance on bitcoin this is not something the World Bank can support given the environmental and transparency shortcomings, I'm sure. A World Bank spokesperson said, however, the World Bank noted that it could help El Salvador in other ways, including currency transparency and regulatory processes, uh, which also then makes it so that Bitcoin is no longer than Bitcoin, because I'm pretty sure they would want to know who's using it, when they're using it, how they're using it, what time they used it. Uh, and th same exact thing that we have with our current system. So uh, this is the most popular news of the day. World Bank wants no part in El Salvador's Bitcoin's revolution. World Bank says it can help El Salvador, can't help El Salvador with regards to Bitcoin. World Bank refuses. And yeah, I only have about, I think, five or six tabs of that because it seems redundant to have 38 of them. But this was the most popular thing. Uh, no one should be surprised at this. I assume that the BIS, the, the Bank for International Settlements, the, the, the central bank, central bank is also not going to be helping us. I assume the International Monetary Fund is also not going to be helping them as well. Still a lot of rumors floating around as to which the next country is going to be. I, I, I feel like by the end of this year, we should have around five countries who are either have it into law that it's legal tender or are working... Uh, to make it so, and I'm pretty sure none of them will get any help. But logically, we have a lot of people in the cryptocurrency space who have worked with who have worked with the IMF, the US SEC, and the World Bank, who are now advisors in the cryptocurrency space. So I'm pretty sure these countries will be just fine in regards to uh, figuring things out. Anyway, that's all that news, and let's move on. And to finish things off in the least surprising news on this planet, MicroStrategy has announced a plan to issue additional shares to potentially finance the purchase of more Bitcoin. According to a US SEC filing, the Michael Saylor led firm says it will issue and sell Class A common stock to raise up to $1 billion US dollars from time to time to be able to buy more Bitcoin. MicroStrategy further says the proceeds from the equity sale will be used to purchase Bitcoin among other purposes. They said we intend to use the net proceeds from the sale of any Class A common stock offered under this prospectus for general corporate purposes, including the acquisition of Bitcoin, unless otherwise indicated in the applicable prospectus supplement. The enterprise analytics software firm currently holds 92,079 BTC. In the SEC filing, MicroStrategy says buying and holding Bitcoin is part of its business model. We just had news two and a half days ago that they raised, what was it, half a half a billion dollars to be able to buy more Bitcoin. We haven't, we, we haven't had information that that purchase has taken place. We know that they now have the money from the sale of the debt that they were doing. So I assume within the next couple of days, maybe even by the, it's already Thursday, I give it next week, uh, that they've purchased it at some given time, trying not to move the market because it has to happen in smaller purchases because if you do one big buy order, the market moves, everyone panics, what in the world, what the world is happening. Uh, now the other news, here's the actual SEC filing right here. MicroStrategy up to one, <laughs> geez Louise, up to $1 billion class A common stock prospectus. And it keeps going down. I show this to you so that you know that I'm just not making these things up and finding articles. Here's the actual filing with the SEC right here. Um, I assume it's going to happen. I think at this point, MicroStrategy has basically set themselves up to be the uh, largest Bitcoin holders on the planet. Uh, no one should be surprised by any single portion of this. Uh, of course, this is also major news as well. It wasn't as large of news. Sentence uh, as the, uh, the 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 World Bank news, but 
I always, you know, maybe it's just me. I feel like the actual uh, $1.5 billion into Bitcoin over the course of like a, you know, four day period should make a lot more news. I'm pretty sure that El Salvador will be just fine. It, it's not like they're, they're they're running around by themselves going, Bitcoin, can someone help? I'm, I'm pretty sure that they have at least 10 people who've contacted them. I'm ugh. I'm certain that Chang Ping Tao has sent them a text message like, what's up, bro? And Vitalik Buterin has sent them a, a, a mind link email or whatever Vitalik Buterin would have. Anyway, the point is, so MicroStrategy plans on buying uh, even more Bitcoin. Uh, and then it's going to be, I, I still think this is the most interesting thing because a lot of people, even companies now, there was news a couple days ago as well. There was some, I don't remember, it was like a cluster of, of, of old people companies who uh, were basically talking down about El Salvador and their adoption of Bitcoin. And they were like, every other company buying Bitcoin is blah, 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 blah. And they're going to have a really hard time in the future when they're like fighting over, like think of the idea Remember, we had news about this even before, like the idea of an entire Bitcoin is going to be like something like mythical. So we're going to have a lot of major companies right now in the future who are going to be fighting with other companies uh, to try and acquire an entire Bitcoin. And MicroStrategy is not making it easy for them because if they have 92,000 already, and I said this before, think about this. We can only assume that the other higher ups in the company probably also own Bitcoin as well. I do not think that just the company is, is is holding it and everyone else is like, this is good. I'm glad that our company has them. No, they're probably also in possession of a, of a four-figure or low five-figure, who knows, amount of Bitcoin as well. Anyway, that's all the micro strategy news. And let's move on. As always, a very special thank you to my Patreon supporters. Professor Wally from Gunbot University. Roman Geba. Bitcoin Ben, Arachno Dave, Troy, nope, wrong, couldn't see the, the screen, Tony Ambroski, <laughs> the de dealer's dead, Red Plum Tomato, Umnu, Wishnicky, the letter M, Stefan Dirks, Not Brain, Captain Something in the Z-Way, Lay, Crypto, Black Sheep, AJ Cut 5, Speedy 655, and Carlos was like, Mo Barazzi, Jojo Shaw, Show, VB Nerd, 21, Miguel Grillet, Lauren DeSilva, Quoted Biddy, Bare Bones Mining, Troy, All Good, Space Case, Need a Miracle, Pat Tarnoster, Conan, Don't Skip Leg Day, Snacky Chan, Tolik Banan, Auspicious, Agile, and Blockchain, Navarro Williams, David James, Attila the Han, Yasha Harari, Utopia 569, Moonman High, XRP, Martin Stoyer, Nostromo, John Sarson, The Animal Reader, Bibliophobia, Todd Mullis, Adam Grasic, Moha Maroni, Master Ventures in Thailand, Jared Schneider, Wise Night Owl, 242 to the World, Bankroll Network, Crypto Artist, Cold D3D, Damien, Setsuna, Richard Richard III, Vlad the Impaler, Paxis, Nick Manji, Alavori. Oh, wow. Look at that one. Okay. Jim Gardner, Jeremy Fox, Minting Coins, Miller Hitch Chest, Every Day, and Kyle Skips Leg Day, Yes to Crypto, Body McBoatface, Anytime Fitness Monks, Corner Staff, Bake Me a Cake, Tigra Macho Nisa, On Crypto with Lionel, Crayola Michelle, URL, and Bolero Bastos. Thank you all very, very much for your support. Thank you to all the new Patreon members. Thank you to all the new members of the channel who clicked the little join button below. Thank you to everyone who left a like, a comment, a subscribed, or is supporting in their own way. At the momento, Bitcoin is currently at 39,317 US dollars. It is down by 1.7%. Here's a little dip that we had right here. Here's the movement already back up. There's nothing really stopping Bitcoin from moving back above fifty or sixty thousand dollars. It's just more of a. Uh, it's clear that the market is being moved around by invisible hands to be able to accumulate more because once again, uh, we're still getting predictions for a million dollar Bitcoin. So you know, thirty nine thousand to a million. You know, a little bit of change. Anything else crazy that we saw? Solana is up by 3.5%. Theta is up by 5.8 percentile points. Amp, for some reason, is up by 24%. I'm sure there's some weird, wacky news. There's always something behind the scenes about some coin moving up and everyone being like, why didn't you know about the coin going up, bro? Algorand is up by 1.4 percentile points. Anything else up? Cosmos is up by 5. Theta Fuel is up by 6. Avalanche, oddly, once again, is up by 2%. Leo Unis said Leo is up by 4% and Rune is up by 0.09 percentile points. I do hope you all enjoyed. I do hope that you all are having a great day, a great morning, a great afternoon, a great evening, wherever you are, wherever you might be. I do hope that it is absolutely fantastic. 
Thank you all once again for watching and or listening, and I will most certainly uh, be talking uh, to you all soon. See you.